The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Chapter ten, verses twenty-five to thirty-seven. There was a lawyer, who, to disconcert Jesus, stood up and said to him, "Master, what must I do to inherit eternal life?" He said to him, "What is written in the law? What do you read there?" He replied, "You must love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength." And with all your mind, and your neighbor as yourself, you have answered right," said Jesus. "Do this, and life is yours." But the man was anxious to justify himself, and said to Jesus, "And who is my neighbor?" Jesus replied. A man was once on his way down from Jerusalem to Jericho, and fell into the hands of brigands. They took all he had, beat him, and then made off, leaving him half dead. Now a priest happened to be travelling down the same road, but when he saw the man. He passed by on the other side. In the same way, a Levite who came to the place saw him and passed by on the other side. But a Samaritan traveller, who came upon him, was moved with compassion when he saw him. He went up and bandaged his wounds. Pouring oil and wine on them, he then lifted him on to his own mount, carried him to the inn, and looked after him. Next day, he took out two denarii and handed them to the innkeeper. Look after him, he said, and on my way back, I will make good. Any extra expense you have, which of these three do you think proved himself a neighbor to the man who fell into the brigands? The one who took pity on him, he replied. Jesus said to him, "Go and do the same yourself." The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters, when we pass a message to someone, and the message goes on from one person to the other through different different mediums, the message. The original will be different from what the people use it as reality by listening from sources. Most of the time, it will just be the opposite, or it will have a lot of ingredients used to destroy the original message. We become victims. Of the gossips by people, we become victims of the wrong judgments by people, and there is spoiling name, then distorting the original message. We see in Galatians chapter one, verses six to twelve. Saint Paul is now trying to exert. Upon these people, saying, "Don't change the message that you have received, because some people came from Jerusalem 
and trying to tell them about the Jewish law and not wanting to believe in the message of Jesus which Paul had preached to them. So Paul says to them this, The good news I preached is not a human message, but from Jesus Christ himself. This message of Jesus that Paul received was from the encounter he had with Jesus himself. Jesus the light sparkled in his eyes and changed his life and showed him what he should do next. So Paul, after having preached to these people, some evildoers will rise up, emerge, trying to destroy the original message. But Paul was very strong on what he was preaching. And in the Gospel reading we see today, in Luke chapter 10, verses 25 to 37, a lawyer comes to test Jesus. What must I do to inherit eternal life? Jesus asks him to quote it by himself. Read what the scriptures say. You must love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength, and with all your mind. And above all, love your neighbor as yourself. This is the greatest of all. And he wants to now ask something more to Jesus to justify. And he says, who is my neighbor? And Jesus gives him an answer through a parable, saying, There was a traveler who was robbed on the way and was injured and left at the roadside. First the priest comes and walks out from one side. Then the Levite comes, walks out from the other side. But the poor Samaritan traveler, he attended to the person who was lying on the road, robbed and injured, almost half dead. He takes him to the nearby inn. He attends to him. He bandages his wounds and gives the responsibility to someone who is also kind enough to look after this person. And he says, by giving him two denarii, that if there is extra and more to be paid, I will do the necessary when I come back. And Jesus asked this person, the lawyer, what do you feel about this? Who has done a charity? And towards whom? Yes, the Samaritan has done charity towards the person who needed the most. Not the priest and the Levite. However, they might have felt bad, but they did not attend to the needs of the one who needed the most at that time. So this is an act of serving our own neighbor. So my dear friends, everyone wants to be treated well, but only when it comes to me. Why can't we treat the other well? Why can't we treat the other with the dignity, honor, love. This is what the Lord is trying to tell us through this lawyer who learned a big lesson. To love God means to love your neighbor. To love your neighbor means to love oneself. And it is seen in the act of charity. Charity goes above every other virtue in life. So, my dear friends, let us pray to our Lord 
and ask him to make us people who belong truly to Christ, not by our lip service, but by our act of charity. Amen.